Sean's Morning Yoga Challenge. Day three, deep stretch. <laughs> Good morning, my friends. This is day three of your seven day morning yoga challenge. Thanks for joining me today. And uh, thanks for checking in below, letting me know you are here. Today is all about deep, deep stretching. Might sound easy enough for me. I have a problem with it because I like to keep moving and keep flowing. So this is definitely a good challenge for me as well. Good to be warmed up, but if you're just waking up in the morning, your body is warm, we'll move gently into these stretches. Breathing in the nose and out the nose because tomorrow, day four, is a big time yoga flow. It's big time. So let's get our deep stretches while we can. <clears throat> I was gonna film outside, but it's snowy and really cold and my feet go numb within about five minutes. Not good for a morning yoga stretch. Let me tuck in my shirt. We're gonna start with a seated twist. I don't know why I got up on my knees. Left leg forward, right foot across. You're going to see this tomorrow, but much faster, a little faster. Okay, I'll stop talking. Let's twist to the right. Great to start the day with a twist. As you exhale, let that right shoulder go back. Arm can be here or on the other side. Chest is open. Let's breathe. So we can get our body moving. Get our blood flowing, get our breath flowing in the nose and out the nose. Five more breaths. Draw out those breaths further, make them larger. So there's more expansion in the ribs as you breathe in and you're draining the lungs as you exhale. So it's not merely the act of breathing, it is focused breath, it is breath with purpose. We wanna bathe the cells in the oxygen. And get that rotation in the lower back. Oh, drop this leg down, this is a seated pigeon, hands back behind you. Ankle on top of the thigh, or it's too much, bring it down. Let's press forward gently. And open up that right hip. Shoulders are back, so we're dropping the shoulders. We're still opening the chest, and we're elongating the spine. Let's breathe. Each exhale, hinge forward. Mm, man, the breath. That opens up so many avenues, so much more potential. In that breath. If you like, take the hands forward. Use this right elbow to open the hip as you extend forward. Five more breaths. Pressing the back of your left leg down. Three shoulder rolls, lift and lower. Always aligning the body. Shoulders back and down, chest open. Here, I want you to hear my voice in your head all day long. Lord knows I hear my own voice lecturing all the time. All right, left foot across. We're tall, shoulders back and down. I said it that time. Twist to your left arm, the outside or the inside. Each exhale, we're twisting, we're squeezing out the side. You visualize your spine rotating, but also lengthening. Five more breaths.
Very good. Return back to the center. Drop that left leg down. Shoulders back and down. Okay. Hands back behind you. Here's that seated pigeon. Begin tall. Shoulders down. Posture and alignment. We don't want to come into it all scrunched up. Be open. Be 100%. And let your breath guide you in. Tuck that chin. Oh, I know I've set up a rhyme. We're going in. Look at my shin. If you wish, take it forward. Using that left arm to open the left hip. Seated pigeon, five more breaths. See me doing some movement here. You can do that too. I feel my way through it. I don't want to overanalyze. I want to feel with the breath. I'm not planning ahead. I'm going right in the moment here. What's happening right now, which is much more difficult than it sounds. It really is. That's not my hair. Ooh, bring it up. Bottoms of the feet together. Butterfly. And let's open up that chest. And what is called abdominals. Drop the shoulders back. So we're opening the hips and getting a back bend. Dropping the shoulders back. Let's breathe. An option is to bring the forearms down. But keep opening, keep opening. I'm going to slip my fingers. My hands are, my palms are facing up underneath my tush. Any excuse to touch my tush. <laughs> ah, I make myself giggle. Five more breaths. Breathe. Don't mean a thing if you ain't got that breath. Don't mean a thing. Don't mean a thing if you ain't got that breath. Just hitting a brick wall. calluses. It's a guy who does a lot of yoga outside barefoot. Okay, come on up. We're going, we're going. We have the butterfly. I want you to take your hands, slide them underneath your feet. Shoulders are back. Stay here or we're going airborne. We're going to lift the feet up. We're going to pull those feet in towards the body as we drop the shoulders back and down. <laughs> I call this the elevated butterfly. We're working balance. We're working the arms and shoulders too, because once we hit that threshold here with the feet, I have happy feet. Don't tell Steve Martin, I have happy feet. <laughs> We're going to pull those feet in closer. And there's every tenth of an inch is going to be a lot of effort. Use your exhales. Five more breaths. Wake up that body. Get the blood flowing. Get the breath in, the oxygen into the bloodstream. Wake it up. Ready for anything throughout your day, mentally, physically, spiritually. Dig deeper. This is serious stuff. Don't want to have a bad day from the start. All right, release. Legs forward. Shake them out. Whew. Arms are loose. Shoulders are loose. This is called the face down. Shoulder stretch. Allow me to move my cap around here. This is a new one. I've done this one in quite a while. Come down onto your, well, face me, left side. Take your right foot back behind this left foot. Now, stretching that shoulder, take the left arm out. There we are. It's a variation on the scorpion pose we do quite a bit. We're really opening up that left shoulder and chest. If it's too much, bend the elbow on the left arm. And we're walking this right foot back. 
And we can use this right hand at our discretion. We can press into it to increase the intensity of the stretch. And that's up to you. Let's breathe. Would you let me know if I drift off too much? Thank you. Five more breaths. Walking the right foot back. Walk it back. Whew. See, my left arm is getting a little tingly. I'm putting a lot of pressure on it, pressing it into the ground, so it's cutting off some blood flow. It's a good thing to be aware of. We won't hold it too long. Bend that elbow and shake out the arm, too. Oh, you don't want to traumatize it. One more breath. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Just happy to be here, Clark. All right, rolling on to your right side. Face down, shoulder stretch. Other side, now you can see the back end of it. Let's start first, left foot back here, right leg out. And then, boom, there is that right arm out. Let's breathe. Gently tilting and twisting into it. Five more breaths. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling this in my right lower back. There's always a source of tension for me down there. The right side of my lower back. Okay. Oh. Bring it through. Oh, man. That is so... You feel that? Shake out the arms. We're going to come to the, I'm going to call this the frog pose. Child's pose, but take your knees wide. It doesn't look that strange if we all do it together. Feet can come out, arms forward or forearms down. Breathe, let your body melt down into the frog. But you're kind of cute like a frog. Boom, down we go. <laughs> Let's breathe. Breathe with intention, with purpose. Keep the cobwebs away. Just a little bit, get right over the top of it. Oh, that's the sweet spot. I'm going to take my forearms down for a bit so I can really press back. Adductors, inner thighs, groin, psoas, back, glutes, knees. Oh, gluteus, piriformis, erectors. I haven't done this in quite a while, this one. A lot of driving over the Christmas holiday, too, driving to Illinois, driving to Wisconsin, and back to Colorado. So that is something that attacks my body more than any kind of movement, is sitting for long periods of time, five hours, six hours at a time. Five more breaths. If we do any longer, we won't be able to get back up. Then it's frog for life. Whew. Let your lungs hold more oxygen each time, breathing with more efficiency. <laughs> Oh, man. One more breath. I know that's more, but I'm having a moment. <laughs> All right, let's get out of it. Rock forward. Here's the best way. There's trauma in them hips. Oh, we got trauma. <laughs> oh, ooh. Downward facing dog. Shake it out. Give ourselves a treat. I know Christmas is over for the year, but 
Here's a late Christmas gift. Pigeon, of course we like pigeon. We're gonna really, really open up this stretch. Bring your left knee forward. This foot, bring it in as close as you like or walk it out to increase that stretch. Let's do a little hand walk here to massage our way into the pigeon. Don't wanna come in cold. And a little movement's a wonderful thing for loosening up some tendons and ligaments and, and the muscles to allow a much better, much better pose, much more honest, okay. Now I wrote down pigeon knot, K-N-O-T. You might do the knot, you might wanna practice this many times and then you'll move into the knot, that's up to you. The good news is we have the pigeon right now, we're sliding that right leg back, we're right over the center, we're opening up this hip. There we are. Little adjustments, little adjustments. Nobody's perfect. We, just, we work on it, we progress, we work, and we're disciplined. If you lack discipline, walk the arms forward, forearms down or all the way down. Again, I'm undulating my pigeon, moving side to side, opening up, getting the blood to flow, to move into the body, to elevate the body, energize it. Now the promise of the knot, K-N-O-T, if you wish. Left arm across, right arm across. Here we are, now we add a massive upper back and rear deltoid stretch. So the arms are right around my chest. Feel free to move within the pose, let's breathe. By the way, I have my left arm underneath. I'm gonna do my right arm underneath on the other side to balance it out. Don't worry if you switched it, switch it on the other side. We are already too far into the pose to go back. Five more breaths. One more time. Okay, let's make our way to the pigeon on the other side. Uh, hey, okay. my mat is bunching. <laughs> Quick, that was, that was a close call. Right leg forward, right knee forward. Walking those hands. I'm walking back to Georgia. And I hope she will take me back. You know who I listen to? Or what I listen to when I do yoga on my own time? Jim Croce. A lot of Jim Croce. I love Jim Croce. Reminds me of my theater days, doing professional music theater and opera. I think I've listened to everything that man put out. Okay, let's get back to the stretch. We're walking side to side. Even it out over the center. Left leg back. I figure you're training with this guy, with me. You might want to know if he likes Jim Croce or not. To me, I'd want to know that. All right, walk it forward. Now I had that song in my head. Still moving side to side. We are opening the hip, the glute, the knee. Use caution. Keep your hands down to protect you from going down too far into the pose. We set this up so we train together, but you have the ultimate control over what you're doing. You always can stop and start when you need to. It's a great relationship, great relationship. And I do the same, okay? If you're doing the knot, right arm across, left arm across. <laughs> Gonna have to say that, and here we go. I'm doing the right arm underneath on this side. The knot pigeon, let's breathe. Hmm. 
The further away these hands are, wait, how am I saying that? The further away the hands move away from each other, well, the bigger stretch in the back and the rear shoulder. Five more breaths. Mm, that inhale, I'm breathing into my abdominals, into my diaphragm, which is right underneath my rib cage. It's lifting me up. That is deep, deep breath. As when I trained, as I trained as an opera singer, as a dramatic baritone, that is how I breathe. It's deep into the diaphragm. It lifts the entire body. It does not scrunch up the chest and the shoulders. It keeps your body lifted. It tones your core in the process. And the breaths are so much deeper. All right, come out of it. We're going to finish this off with a split series. I, I promised I wouldn't go too long with these, but I have to share these. It is essential. I want 2019 to be the year where your body feels the best it has ever felt. It is the most functional. It is the most pliable and adaptable it's ever been. Let's walk. In, down, dog. Okay, left foot forward, here we go. Drop the right knee down, we're gonna rock back and forth. This is up to you right here. That's runner's lunge. This is low lunge. Knee goes past the toes, stretching the knee and the shins. Active stretching, active stretching. Exhale back, inhale forward. When you're ready, you can move up into pyramid and lunge, full lunge. And don't be discouraged because I said the S word. No, not the swear word. I said split, split, split. What is this something? What is that? Something back there. Okay. I don't mean you have to slam down into splits like you're doing Cirque du Soleil. I mean it's a very complex and amazing stretch sequence. It's moving and massaging and improving all these parts of your body. As you get more comfortable, take the feet out. And, oh, did I go too soon? I haven't done the splits in a while, or attempted them, rather. So my right knee's down, I'm just gonna rock back and forth right here. Keep doing what you're doing, don't mind me. Let's do five more breaths. Excellent, excellent. Oh, hamstrings, calves, hip flexors. These are essential for your performance. If you're an athlete, these areas need to be loose. They need to be balanced and functional on both sides. If they are not, you majorly increase the risk of injury. Okay, oh, downward facing dog, <laughs> shake it out. Trauma, trauma. I teach this in my live class here at Nick's Pro Fitness. They like it, but getting out of it's another story. Okay, right foot forward. Begin when you're ready. That sounds obvious, but I don't want you to feel like you gotta jump right into it. If you need to take a moment, take a moment. But we gotta practice. We don't practice every day, our bodies atrophy. They atrophy. The muscles become weaker. We lose tone, we lose form, we lose alignment. Body is designed to move in very functional, healthy ways. Keep on going, keep on going. I'm gonna take a fist step. Day three of your seven day morning yoga challenge. The playlist to all seven is down below in the about section of this video. Take it with you everywhere. Hmm. 
don't know about you, but that feels good, good, good. I, I keep hearing Cousin Eddie's voice when I say that. So we're taking it with her when we leave here next month. <clears throat> So I have all those Christmas movies in my head. Okay, I'm going for it. Mm -hmm. Keep on going. Keep on going, my friends. Five more breaths. Mm. What am I doing next? Oh, hip flexor heaven. Side. Down a little further on this side, it's all right. Okay, oh, all right, my friend. Bring it back, around, let's shake it out. Oh, calf switch, and we'll call it a day. That's day three. Seven day morning yoga challenge with me, Coach V. You check in below, you let me know how you're doing. Let me know where you're from. Let me know which stretch is your favorite or anything else that's on your mind. And uh, if this workout help, if this challenge is what you need, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and share it on. Share it on, my friends. Do these one day after the other. And as I said earlier, day four tomorrow is a big yoga flow featuring a whole bunch of my favorite sequences and poses to get me going in the morning or any time. So rest up for that. I will see you tomorrow, and God bless.